Hey you guys, so today I finally did my um, drugstore video. Actually, I did do a drugstore video, but it didn't go so well. So, I decided to re-record um, a, it's, it's a totally different look, look all together regardless. Um, but this one I like, so this one I will post. Yes! So, um... Everything in the video is like cheap. Like it's it's drugstore worthy. If you can't get it at like a regular drugstore, it's somewhere online where you can get it for super cheap. And I think the only thing that you may not just get from the drugstore is the Ben Nye banana powder. Um, everything else you can get from the drugstore, I really do believe. Um, if you want to know how I got this look right here, then make sure you keep on watching. And if you want more drugstore videos uh, where I go out and find different um, things, different foundations, um, you want to know about a particular product, how I like it, uh, my first impression of it, um, definitely let me know. Let me know some things that you've been looking at and you want to try out. Maybe I can buy it. I'm not rich or anything, you guys. So definitely let me know. But again, um, this is my drugstore video, my first drugstore video. I hope you guys like it. Bye. All right, you guys. So I've already primed my face and I use the Milk and Magnesia um, stuff that makes you go um, as something to help my oil stay down. And then I don't really skimp out on a um, primer. And I used to like the black radiance i believe the black radiance um shine free um primer um i don't have any more of that or i would have used it because I, I did like that one but i haven't found another one um that i really really like so yeah i use my smoothing primer from makeup forever and also my uh poor professional by benefit far as my primers go to smooth out my skin for me next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to mix these two i'm going to mix these two foundations right here these are the infallible pro matte foundations in the colors soft sable and cocoa uh, the soft sable is just a little bit too light for my skin so i mix both of those two together to get mine and i basically do um equal amounts because that definitely kind of cancels out some of that redness in the um the dark cocoa now i'm taking my my real techniques expert face brush and i'm applying that foundation i mixed all over my face and i'm patting it in more than i am swiveling it in because i want it to really cover all of my imperfections and all of my acne scars and all of my pimples and all of that goodness. But if you have um, if you have pretty clear skin, you can swivel it all day. But you just have to make sure that you um, you get rid of all of those streaks. And a way to get rid of the shrieks in your um, your foundation is to use a, um, what you call it, a triangle sponge or some kind of sponge. And the amount that I use is probably... Um, like a squirt of each and that covered up my entire face next thing i'm gonna do is i'm going to take my real techniques contour sponge it looks like this here yeah it's dirty that's my contour color and i'm gonna take the pointed side and i'm just going to when well, no, i'm gonna take the flat side and i'm gonna um, kind of pounce that all over my face to definitely make sure that the foundation is pressed in and it's all nice and smooth. And this also kind of helps with taking away the excess oils that your skin has kind of produced or the foundation has, <coughs> excuse me. Yikes. 
dogs. And this foundation is basically a medium to full coverage foundation. It really does cover a whole lot. For my concealer, I am going to take this CoverGirl Queen Collection Concealer in the color Light and this um, LA Girl Pro Concealer in Warm Honey and it looks like that. These are like $2.99 and the CoverGirl are I believe for something. I'm going to place down the LA Girl first. It squirted. That's nasty. We got a dirty mind. Now I'm just going to blend away all of that concealer. And with mine, I'm kind of using the side that I already had like some of my contour color on it. That way it kind of really fades it out. Now I'm going to take the LA, the CoverGirl Queen Concealer and I'll place that directly on the top of that. I take that back because it's... Hmm, let's just go for a natural look today. So I'm just going to go with the natural look today and I'm placing that on top of that other concealer and I'm blending that in as well. And it looks like that. Now, because I said we're going for a natural look today, I'm going to take the color Espresso by LA Girl Cosmetics. And I'm going to use this as my contour. I don't know if I'm going to do eyeshadow at this point in time, so I'm just going ahead and doing all the contouring into my eyes. I'm going to use a little bit of a darker color underneath my nose. And that's going to be the um, dark cocoa. So now I'm going to take my Real Techniques Contour Sponge and I'm going to pounce that baby all over my cheek area to blend out um, that contour. 
make sure you're blending upwards. You don't want to blend downwards because you don't want all of that area to be muddy. Right now I'm just like really pushing, like pushing hard into my nose. And what that's doing is picking up um, a lot of that um, concealer. Now I am using the pointed side of the, the sponge. There we go. Now I'm going to take my air sponge somewhere. Give me a second. You know what? I'm not going to take my air sponge. I'm going to take a little bit of my Ben Nye banana powder, which looks like this. You can order these, and one that's about half the size is about, I believe, $5. I hardly ever ever use my um, my banana powder anymore, so I'm gonna use that today. And I'm gonna take that on a triangle sponge, and I'm gonna set my um, highlighted areas. Because we want a natural look, I'm going to just go ahead and use my um, foundation powder brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend that away. Because I don't want it to be super bright. And I'm going to do that to all the other areas as well. Pressing it in and then I'm wiping it away or brushing it away. On my forehead and I'm going to leave it on my forehead just a tad bit longer. Only because my forehead gets like really, really oily. And on my chin as well. I'm gonna clean up my contour area just a tad bit. Just like that. So I'm gonna leave that on for like a minute. And I wiped away all of that powder from my forehead. Now I'm going to take this um, L'Oreal Pro Matte Fallible Powder in the color. You think people would figure out what they wear before they get on camera, right? Not me. I don't know which color this is. And I definitely don't see it on the packaging. But this is the darkest powder that they have. Like literally the darkest powder that they have. So I'm going to take my um, my powder brush, which is somewhere, and I just had it. I'm gonna take my powder brush, and this is just a Sonia Castic Fall 2012 um, powder brush. And I'm gonna just set all of the areas where I didn't put any highlight or any contour. I'm not going to really go over my under eye because I don't want to lose any of the little brightness that I do have. Just like that. Blend 
believe it or not, I do have two um, contour colors that I do like from the drugstore. I always used to use my CoverGirl Ebony um, Bronze Powder or my Black Radiance Ebony Foundation Powder. So today, since I haven't used the CoverGirl one in a long time, I'm going to use that one to bronze up and contour my face. And we're not going to go in that heavy handed because we are doing a natural look. So we're going really, really lightly into that shade. Just like that. Go a little bit down the sides of the nose, underneath the nose. And whatever level we're going to be growing. We're going to use that underneath our chin. And I haven't dipped my brush back into that powder. I just kind of swiveled it in one circular motion into that powder and that was it. So that's that. So the next thing we're going to do is we're about to really experiment. I have not used this yet. But this is the Bella Gold Eyeshadow from Milani. And we are going to use that as a highlight today. And unfortunately, I don't have a cheek. No, I'm lying. going to use the Real Techniques setting powder brush and it looks like this right here and I am going to kind of pat into that eyeshadow a few times and I am going to ooh I like it yes I am going to oh I really do like this seriously <laughs> I am using this eyeshadow as a highlighter and Yes, you can use an eyeshadow as a highlighter. You can use whatever you want for whatever you would choose to use it for because makeup is the best thing in life. So if you choose to use this highlighter as an eyeliner, do whatever you please, boo. If it works for you, it works. So, yes. Do you see that glow? Do you see that glow? And this is from a, what, $2.99 eyeshadow or $1.47. I'm not for sure how much it costs, but... Yes, this eyeshadow is giving Renny V life, okay? It, it is perfect for my skin tone and just a glaze on a darker skin tone girl is going to give you life as well. This is, this is really bomb. This is really bomb. It's, it's not showing off super gold on camera, but... Y'all know I have some pictures on Instagram for you. This is really pretty. Take a little bit at the point of my nose. And I'm going to take it down the center of my nose. Oh, this is giving me life. I was about to use my, um, my Forever 21 highlighter. But... Hmm, hmm, yes, yes. Take a little bit above my cupid's bow. Like that. Oops. So, oof, oof. This is life. So, I'm going to go one step further. And I'm going to spray my brush. Ooh, I'm almost out of Fix Plus and I got like three bottles up here. And I'm going to go and step one more time to kind of amp up that highlight. Y'all. Mm, 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 mm. Loving it. New highlighter alert. Yas. I love it. So, I can't stop staring at it. 
It's pretty. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I am going to take my NYX Cosmetics blush and I'm gonna take that on to my Gold Real Techniques brush. And this is the NYX color in Mauve. Use that as a blush. Go to town into that one. And I love it. Ooh. This one isn't like super, super pigmented. So that's why I went in, like went to town with it. But I do love that color. And it's very subtle. So it's very wearable. Now I am going to... So now I am going to take, hmm, okay, so my, my camera is definitely trying to act funny with me. So let's hurry up and do this. I already did this other eye over here. And I have on a gray shadow. It's called Bella Charcoal from Milani. And I don't have any base or anything on my eyelid. Uh, I'm not really too concerned about if it like goes anywhere because if it leaves my eye, I'll still have a natural face. So I didn't prime my lid or anything like that. I'm just placing that eyeshadow directly onto my lid, going into it a couple times. And I'm using my ring finger. Just like that. And I'm gonna take a, just a blending brush. You can take the Real Techniques Shadow Blender uh, brush if you like. But I just have this, um, this 224 brush by MAC handy. And blend out those edges. We're doing one eyeshadow, okay? Going back into that one, one more time. But we are going to line our eyes and kind of smudge it out. So I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Cream Eyeliner in Little Black Dress. And I'm going to do the smallest line across my eye. I'm going to kind of zoom in. And I said it's going to be a small line. And this is just going to kind of help with concealing the band. And I'm going to wipe off my, um, my eyeliner brush. And I'm going to go back over that liner and smudge it out a little bit to give it kind of a smoky effect. I guess you can say this gives it like a, a grungy kind of effect. Try not to poke yourself in the eye. Yeah, I poke myself in the eye, even with my eyes closed. Um, now I'm going to take um, the Ardell Wispies. I stack them um, up. I use two of them. They have them at Walmart right now for $5.49. They come with two of them in a pack and I just double stack them. So I'm going to take those lashes and kind of um, curl them back because that's the way like your eyelid um, shapes and this helps it to form like that by curling them back. When you're applying your lashes, you definitely want your lash 
your lash band to be as close to your lash, your the, the bottom fold of your eyelid, sitting directly onto your lashes. So I stop and kind of wiggle it in the center to get a little bit of that glue kind of formed down there. And then I let it kind of sit up there for a second. Really, I, I really do. And then I start to apply them to the front first because I definitely want the front to stay stay down. And then I press it down at the back. And then I like to take my finger and like press up against the lashes so that I can have some of that glue on like my thumb. Like the excess glue is what I mean. And I'm also making sure that the lashes are marrying together. Somebody asked me if eyelash curlers work <laughs> one day. I was like, uh, I don't think there would be a mass production of them if they, they didn't work. I wasn't trying to be smart, but like, are you serious? This a lash curler. They've had it from like probably centuries now. Anywho, so that is going to be the eyes. I'm just going to put some mascara on my bottom lashes and I'll be back. So those are the eyes. Now we gotta move on to the lips. All right, for lips, I'm going to take the NYX uh, Lip Eyeliner Pencil and the Color Espresso. And I'm gonna line my lips. And I have a little bit of a uh, chapstick all over my lips, so it's kind of gliding. It's gliding right over my lips. Just like that, and I'm going to take the Black Radiance Brilliant Ice Angel Refreshing Lip Gloss. I'm going to tell you right now, and this color is called Prune, and it looks like this. It's a really, really pretty shade. I'm going to take a, a lip brush to apply it because this shit scratched my lips up the last time I, I did it, and I have... Well, I have a swatch of it, and I'm gonna place it on on Instagram. But far as using this this lip brush, it comes with no, ma'am. All right, you guys. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys are liking these drugstore videos and how freaking long they are. Oh my God, these videos are so long. Anyways, so if you do like them being this long, you like drugstore videos and you want more freaking drugstore videos, please make sure you leave a comment down below saying something to that fact, okay? And uh, I'm still working on my giveaway, you guys. It's coming along really slowly. But hey, the reason why I was gone was because I was on my own little mini vacation and I really needed it and I'm so sorry. But I'm back and I am trying to get more videos out for you guys. I have one more after this one, then I need to start back recording. Okay, so I'm gone. I am so gone. Bye-bye.